There is, <laughs> but drinking alcohol, first of all, can make triglycerides go up, period. Right, period. exactly. Now, if you don't have a triglyceride problem, that may not necessarily be an issue for you. Drinking alcohol in most patients makes blood pressure go up, period. So if you have a blood, pr a blood pressure problem, drinking may be a problem. Diabetes. If you right. are diabetic, it may affect your diabetes. Mm -hmm. So it may make your diabetes worse, which then affects heart mm -hmm. disease. Right. So you are talking to somebody who has a bit of an issue with the alcohol. There are a million things you can do to decrease your risk for coronary disease besides saying, I can't wait to go home and have my glass of yeah, wine yeah. tonight. Now, moderate is usually a glass, it also depends on whether you're a man or a woman and your size. They usually go by ounces, and I would say roughly a couple ounces of red wine per night. There have been some reports that show that that may help decrease the progression or the incidence of coronary disease. But you have to take that piece with everything with else. all of the other things right. that you may have. Okay. In addition, there are some very recent studies that show overall mor mortality for people who drink, quote, moderately. And again, it depends depending on the paper will depend upon what moderate means. So that's Ain't ambiguous so good. too, right? There are some papers who say that moderate drinking increases the incidence of breast cancer. Exactly. So exactly. Um, every person is different. different and any time I recommend or don't recommend it's based on all of the other little characters in their life. Okay. So I I can't answer across the board, is it great to go home and have your two glasses of wine a night because it's going to help my heart? The answer may be okay, but it may not be. 